Hi, thank you for joining us again for our episode of Giving Day. Today is the fourth annual Giving Day. I'm Mindy Fox, Executive Director of the RHI Foundation, and with me today is one of our new Foundation Board members, Alex Lamontes. But before we talk with Alex, I want to thank our hourly sponsor. Our hourly sponsor is Bose McKinney and Evans and Bose Public Affairs Group. So thank you to them for sponsoring this hour. So Alex, I know this story, but everybody watching does not. Share with me how you first came to know RHI. Well, I'm a personal injury lawyer, and I've been representing people for many, many years here in Indiana and in Indianapolis. And as through the course of helping people that have been in really bad accidents or just been hurt very seriously and need a place to do rehab, um, I've come to know RHI basically through my clients. And I have seen firsthand the miracles that they work. I've seen people come in here unable to walk, unable to talk, unable to, to really think for themselves and kind of perform the most basic of functions that we all kind of take for granted. You know, waking up in the morning, brushing your teeth, you know, dressing yourself. I've seen people come in here that couldn't do any of those things and then walk out of here with the ability to go back to as normal of a life as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had at least, you know, a dozen clients that I've seen this firsthand, you know, and after that, in my, my own professional experience with RHI, I had a friend who was on the board um, and he had talked to me a little bit about it and he had realized how much um, exposure and experience I had with RHI as a personal injury lawyer here in, in Indiana. Um, and he asked me to come serve on the board and I got to meet with you. We had a, a lovely, lovely lunch. Um, and I'm really excited to be on the board, absolutely. Well, we're happy to have you. And you have a lot of experience being on different boards with different organizations. So tell me, tell us what it is about the RHI Foundation and our initiatives and what we're doing that you think is really special that might help motivate some of our viewers to donate and support and get on board with what we're doing. Sure, I, I really think that RHI is on the cutting edge of rehab, okay? They've got some of the best doctors here, really helping people and pushing people because when you've been in, in when you're in a position where you need to learn how to walk again or talk again, um, that takes a lot of work for the patient. And some places, they don't put that effort in to have that relationship with the patient to motivate them to be better, okay? And you see that here at RHI. From the, the sports program is amazing. I love bringing people together that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to, to play these sports that can you know be pretty physically intense mm -hmm. and giving them the chance to be able to do that. And I think that that's just fantastic. The, the, the hope, really the hope that you give these patients by um, giving them the chance to do these things that maybe they were able to do before but they can't do now, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's immeasurable. You can't, can't put a price tag on it, it's priceless. It is, and you bring yeah. up such a good point with the sports program because one of the things that makes RHI so unique is that we, uh, we offer the entire continuum of care. So we're owned 51% by IU Health, 49% by St. Vincent. We get patients from them as well as other hospitals around. So right from the moment of injury or illness, they are in our continuum of care. And they come to us, they're an inpatient, they stay with us through outpatient, and the sports program, that's something we do that nobody else does. Um, we, we offer these programs for everybody in the community to participate in adaptive sports, adaptive recreation, so it's the part of um, the care and the continuum that goes into community reintegration and living your life way past rehab. So we are a part of that population's life for their entire life. And that's really special. It's something mm -hmm. the foundation does. Our money that we raise funds the sports program in addition to grant funding that we get as well. In fact, we're about to find out if we've got the Veterans Affair um, adaptive sport grant for the third year in a row. So the last two years we've received, I think it was $220,000 wow. the first year. 
$230,000 this past year from the VA to fund getting um, disabled veterans and members of the armed forces into our adaptive sports program, which we've always tried to do. Our program is open to the entire community from age six and up. It's just it's been so hard to get through that barrier. Yeah. Dealing with the yeah. veterans is like impossible to access that right. population. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll get our third grant from them and continue doing that for our entire community. Kids, veterans, everybody mm -hmm. with a physical disability can be a part of that. Yeah, yeah. good point. Yeah. Yeah. We are, we're part of the whole continuum of care for exactly. everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I really love about RHI. I mean, from beginning to end, and then even after the end, they follow up with their patients. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of a family here, and it's a wonderful organization. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you for joining our thank board. You. We've got a lot of really exciting stuff coming up. We're building a new unit trying to get most of our patient rooms to be private shared, private rooms instead of shared rooms. And that's one of our really big fundraising initiatives this year, as well as patient assistance. We provide shoes and clothing and durable medical equipment and um, medications for the patients that need it and they can't afford it. We do about a million dollars a year in charity care. That's part of why we're nonprofit. I know it's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. A million dollars a year in charity care. So many of our patients that come through our doors, they can't afford their medication. They can't afford even the shoes they need to do our innovative mm -hmm. training. So we provide that, you provide that. If you make a $50 gift, you're buying a patient a pair of shoes so that they can safely participate in our therapy. Um, it's, it's just awesome, mm -hmm. all the things that we're doing and training and educating our staff so that they're staying on the cutting edge. That's another one of our initiatives. So um, please click on the link, join Alex, join mm -hmm. myself as a donor um, and help us change lives. You make a difference. Thank you.